your kidneys are an essential organ of the human body that in my opinion fly under the radar quite often. Like most vital organs within the human body, you need your kidneys, well at least one kidney, to live and thrive as a human being here on planet Earth. More than 20 million people here in the United States have some degree of chronic kidney disease, and most people are completely unaware of this. Chronic kidney disease is one of those silent killers that can do damaging work behind the scenes and can cause issues so much before you even show signs or symptoms. So it's really important to take care of these sweet little organs. Kidney disease is a serious illness that can not only affect just your kidneys, but your brain, heart, bones, and even your immune system. Kidney disease can sometimes lead to kidney failure, which requires dialysis in order to live. Did you know, however, that there are some things that you're doing on a daily basis, these daily basic habits that you do can actually be causing harm to your kidneys and you may not even know it. Today's video will break down five daily habits that you may be doing that can be harmful to your kidneys and bring awareness to this so you can kind of change some of the ways that you live your day-to-day -day life. Number one thing that I think all of us tend to be guilty of at times when we're going through rough patches of having too much pain is using too many painkillers. People use something called NSAIDs, which are medications like ibuprofen and naproxen in order to help alleviate aches and pains. Taking too much of these medications for too long can cause some damage to your kidneys, especially if you already have some underlying chronic kidney disease. But even if you don't, taking these things in high quantity for long periods of time can be harmful to those precious little organs. How can you then protect your kidneys with the overuse of these painkillers? One thing that you can do is trying to use Tylenol instead of just jumping straight to ibuprofen or naproxen, and then using these NSAIDs as infrequently as possible to minimize the risk of kidney damage. If you have some underlying degree or component of chronic pain, please talk to your doctor as there are many other options that exist out there like physical therapy, osteopathic manipulative therapy or techniques that can be done, injections, etc. The number two daily habit that you may be doing that is harmful to your kidneys is adding too much salt to your diet. Salt is actually essential to the human body in maintaining proper fluid mechanics as well as maintaining the structural integrity of your nervous system. But like all things in life, moderation is key. Too much salt can actually be taxing and bad for the kidneys because it can raise your blood pressure and a prolonged increase in blood pressure can cause damage to the kidneys over the long haul. Persistently untreated high blood pressure can cause the little tubules and the blood vessels in the kidney to burst and become damaged, which doesn't allow the kidney to perform its function of filtering all the nasty toxins throughout the body. In fact, high blood pressure or uncontrolled high blood pressure for long period of time is the number two cause of chronic kidney disease here in the United States. So how much salt is too much and what should you be actually limiting to on a daily basis? Well, I would say the recommended daily allowance if you don't have other medical comorbidities is somewhere around two to three grams per day. If you stay within this range, your kidneys should never really undergo damage or issues. The number three biggest thing, and this is something that I struggle with and I know a lot of us out there struggle with, is not getting enough sleep. Now sleep is something that is obviously very important to our health and it's something that I personally talk about quite a bit on this channel, but did you know that not getting enough sleep can actually affect the overall health of your kidneys? Your kidneys will actually work a little bit less while we're sleeping than during the day because we're not as active and consuming different foods, being exposed to different toxins, etc. 
your kidneys actually follow the same 24 hour circadian rhythm that the rest of the body operates under. And when you're not getting enough sleep consistently over long periods of time, your circadian rhythm is disrupted and your kidneys can't actually function properly. According to a study published in the American Journal of Nephrology, individuals who slept on average about five hours or fewer per night actually had a 65% increased risk of developing chronic kidney disease compared to those individuals who were sleeping about seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Now sleep is highly individualized and I talk about this more in other videos, but you wanna shoot for about seven to eight hours consistently each night. If you want more information about sleep, I'll put a link to those videos at the end of this video. The number four biggest thing that may be causing issues to your kidneys that you're doing every day is eating too much ultra processed foods. Now this one does seem a little bit straightforward as well as I do talk about highly ultra processed foods pretty much all the time on this channel. Unless you're new, hi, welcome. I'm not the biggest fan of ultra processed foods. <laughs> These foods are ultra processed because they go through different mechanisms of changing the chemical structure and adding different things like artificial sugar, sweeteners, food dyes, preservatives, seed oils, etc. One of the primary reasons that these ultra processed foods can be bad for your kidneys in particular is because they are high in two specific minerals, sodium and phosphorus. These two minerals can lead to high blood pressure, particularly the sodium, which we talked about earlier, and high blood pressure can be very detrimental for the kidneys but consuming too much phosphorus can lead to something known as kidney stones, which if you've ever had one and experienced them, they're like the worst pain ever. But these kidney stones can cause problems in the kidneys and can lead your kidneys to not function and work as properly as they should. There was another study published in the American Journal of Kidney Disease that showed the efficacy of what I'm saying by individuals who consumed more ultra processed foods led to the increase in formation of these kidney stones and it led to worse health outcomes and an increased risk of kidney damage long term. Avoiding ultra processed foods is key and I can't stress this point enough. Again, if you're looking for more information on that, check out other videos on this channel. And the number five thing that you or even me can possibly be doing that can lead to kidney damage down the road is having and consuming too much added sugar. Diabetes is a huge problem, not only in the United States, but around the globe as well. And particularly here in the West, we have seen type two diabetes emerge in individuals at younger and younger ages. Too much sugar floating around in your blood is bad for a myriad of reasons, but specifically too much sugar can cause damage to the kidney over time in a similar mannerism that prolonged uncontrolled high blood pressure can damage some of the tubules and some of the microvasculature within the kidneys themselves. The kidneys are the main source of filtering out stuff from the body. And when you have too much sugar in the blood, the blood becomes a little bit stickier and therefore it becomes harder to filter the blood through the kidneys. The kidneys then have to work extra hard. And if they're pushed to their max limits all the time, they're eventually gonna break down and you're gonna see some chronic kidney disease. This is such an important point that diabetes is in fact the number one cause of chronic kidney disease here in the United States. Therefore, it's really important to reduce the overall amount of added sugar you consume every day. And I would recommend to not consume more than 25 grams of added sugar per day, and also watch how many carbohydrates you take. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, I will see you all on the next one.